Hey guys, this is Jackie, your nerdy crafter, and I am one of the worst person to play horror games. I am so edgy when I play games like that, that I actually do get scared. And so for this week's tutorial, so many of you guys suggest that I do something If you're a huge fan, my friend Lizu from Artsy Rush made practically all the characters, so make sure you go on over to her channel and check out her pieces. We decided to collaborate on none other than Springtrap. And Springtrap is definitely one of the scariest characters in the game. Feel free to turn these charms into necklaces, keychains, or your favorite magnet. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. There are plenty of geeky tutorials to keep you entertained. Here's what you'll need for this project brown and yellow that you're going to mix up, gray, white, black and red acrylic paint, rounded and pointy tools, a cutter of your choice, an eye pin and a small piece of wire, rubbing alcohol and a q-tip to clean up your piece from fingerprints or dust particles. First thing we're going to do is mix our brown and our yellow. Once it's all mixed up, you're going to take your brown yellow, make it into a kind of oval, and then you're going to take the bottom part and make it look like a muzzle. It's not too hard, just think of it as a really fat jelly bean so that you have something that looks like this from the front and like this on the side. Now take your pointy tool and make the outline for that creepy smile. Once you have that crevice, you're going to mix in some white with your yellow. Make a thin snake out of it. Just make sure the ends are slimmer. And then you're going to put it in the mouth and then flatten it in with your rounded tool. And then you're going to make the designs. So for that, you're just going to make a really deep indent in the middle and then you're going to make the separation for the teeth. Now for the ears, you're going to take your clay, roll it out into a thick snake and then lightly flatten it down. You want to make two. The first one on the left, you're going to cut it in half and then you're going to take your eye pin. This is where the eye pin is actually really handy. Take your tool and just unravel the top part. It's going to look like a wire. Put it through the top part and into the head. Now for the other ear, you're going to cut it in half and then take two eye pins, place both from the top to the bottom and into the head. Now take your biggest rounded tool, make two indents for the eye sockets, then you're going to put a little bit of black paint on the inside, take your grey clay, make balls out of it, and put it in for the eyeballs, and then make little indents for the eyes. Now take your wire, cut little pieces out of them, and then you're going to place it around the head. Take your cutter, make some scratches all over the face so that it looks like it's a broken piece of machine. Finally, add that black nose and then clean it up with your rubbing alcohol and Q-tip. Once that's done, you're going to bake it for 12 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Make sure that your oven was preheated. Here it is all baked. Now I added just a little bit of yellow in the ice. Now once it's out of the oven, what you're going to do is you're going to take your black paint and then put it in the crevices. Once that's done, you're going to take a little bit of water and a paper towel and start wiping off the excess black. Make sure it still stays in the crevices. And then you're going to take your red paint and paint some of those wires that are sticking out. Make sure that some are red and the others black. All done. Don't forget to check out Lizu's own spring trap sculpture. She is really detailed with all her pieces. She also makes a lot of geeky themed things, so make sure that you do subscribe while you're there. What is your favorite horror game? I don't really play them, so I would really maybe like to try some more, just to build up some endurance. 
If you have suggestions for future geeky tutorials, leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to add me on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram. Until then, I will see you guys next week.